I don't think y'all really be aware of how powerful you are. When I'm talking to y'all, I really be trying to get people to see the God within them. All a God is is a superhuman. I be uh, spending time with Chocolate, and I feel like she's such a powerful being. And I, I know that she knows that. And I see the people that she looks up to and watches. And I'm like, the people that she gets knowledge from, the people that she absorbs on the daily or the weekly, and the people that she respects and looks up to, I'm like, man, I look up to you. I ain't even really seen you get out here and, and do your thing. I'm waiting on the moment where she really, you know, taps into that greatness within herself so that she starts to put herself out in a way where people can look up to her in the same way she re respects and admires these other people. Because I know she got it. It's different levels to this energy. And I be knowing the special ones. I be looking at, you know, some of the people that are special. Like, I see you and I see that you're special. But I be wanting people to see that in themselves. It's beautiful when you can see the greatness in you. When you can look at yourself and be like, yeah, I'm important. People need my energy. People need my story. People need my talents. This shit is not rocket science. And people feel like they need some key to knowledge. You know, and books are a good thing. I'm glad that we have people that write books that include their experiences and things that they've learned throughout life so that other people can, you know, learn through, through literature. But there's a greater power in knowing self, knowing through what you already know to be true about you and what you're here to do. And you can't learn that through a book. And that's the key to everything great in your life is the inner knowing of who you are, what you're good at, and what you're trying to push through, through the world. And when you start to commit to that, that's more powerful than anything you could ever learn in a book. You write books in what you know, not what you've learned through school or through other books. You. You write books about what you already know to be true within your experience and your life and your talents. It's got to be unique to you and your experience. There's nothing more powerful than knowing yourself and putting yourself out every day with no hesitation, no fear. And these are the type of energies that inspire people. These are the type of energies that people look up to. It's not about what exactly you're saying. It's the fact that you are so confident and sure in what you're saying. And it's supported through what you've been through. Like, we believe you. Like, when I speak to you, I know y'all believe me. Because this is coming from the heart. I'm not speaking nothing that I've learned from a book. I'm not here to just be normal, baby. We're here to shake the world up. I want y'all to go look in the mirror and start looking at yourself the same way that you look at the people that you admire. Because I promise you, they might have gifts that you don't have. But you have gifts that they don't. Everybody has a power within them that they have to tap into and nobody can translate it and deliver it like you So start looking at yourself as a superhuman because you are I think people be ashamed to call themselves just Superhumans and gods and things like that. We look at that like it's arrogance But nah, man, that's just the knowing when you know your power You can call yourself exactly what you are and your actions will support it ninja run I'm about to run up this